Hello everyone, welcome to CodingScientist.com. You are watching Zero to Hero series on Cloud IoT using Nano RP2040 Connect, which can be programmed using either C++ or Python. It depends upon your choice and skills, what you want to do. All right, guys, in the previous lesson, I showed you how to install the IMU library, which was pretty complex, lengthy name, right? We will use the same library to perform some machine learning activities in this particular lesson. So pay a lot of attention and see what I'm doing. So let's let's do one thing. So basically this library has got ton loads of inbuilt machine learning programs, right? So we need to access one of the examples. The tricky part is guys, you know, some of the machine learning programs which comes inbuilt within the library is not supported in Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect. However, the good part is with slight modification of one or two lines in the code, you can really play around and do magic. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Pay a lot of attention. Let's move on to my IDE. I hope you guys can see my IDE. So this is the particular uh, code, a section of code to detect the activity recognition from the inbuilt IMU. And then we perform certain learning, the machine learning activities within the microcontroller and it throws the output in your terminal, right? There are two different sections here. Activity recognition section for the mobile and then the machine learning underscore IMU. So the way to access this code and what you need to modify, I will just show it to you. Go to file, go to examples. In examples, you need to scroll down to the bottom most section. You can see there is something called incompatible, right? So all the non-compatible libraries falls under this section. So you need to go here. So let me show you again. Go to file, go to examples. Go to examples, in examples, scroll down to the bottom most call incompatible. There if you highlight this, you can see more libraries, ESP32 servo, blah, blah, blah. And at the bottom, STM32, do you know? So highlight that and then you get multiple examples from hello world to orientation, wake up detection, you know, and then six dimensional orientation, double tap, free fall detection, pedometer, single tap, tilt detection, wake up detection, MLC, temperature limit. Guys, all these exercises are machine learning, you know, programs. You can do ton loads of magic using all these exercises. All you need to do is just click and load and try to modify the data what you require. What kind of data you want to capture from your from your Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect. It's a very powerful board, guys. Trust me, I have built ton loads of projects with this and it's, it's really amazing. It's mind boggling. So now what you need to do, the modification I did was in this, this particular ending with underscore MLC. So if you click on that, so this is the code you are seeing here exactly, right? So there are two sections you know, one is this nucleo underscore MLC and there is another section called activity underscore recognition. So what you need to do, I will show you what modification I have done. So this is what you need to do here. You need to add hash include int underscore one space int underscore IMU. This particular line, if you define hash define, so this is going to detect your board RP2040 chip to be a kind of compatible, compatible. So this is going to work. So try it out. Once you are done with this, you got to save it and compile it. Let me just upload this code. Once I upload, it takes couple of seconds. You might also take this code from my GitHub repository, which is named under machine learning underscore IMU. So go to my GitHub. Look for that under Arduino Nano 2040 Connect and then within that repository in GitHub you can find this name machine learning underscore IMU. You can take up this entire file and do it if you don't want to modify from examples. I'm just showing you various methods, right? So see, can you see at the bottom you can see this error warning 
library stm32 duino is not claims to run on stm32 and is not compatible incompatible with your current board which runs on embed nano architecture which is fine you don't have to worry you you just ignore it because we have already included this particular define int underscore one int underscore imu so this will take care of the modification compatibility issues <clears throat> so let's give it a minute it's still compiling the code is getting compiled it takes a while because it's a pretty huge library and it's a pretty lengthy lines of code let's check how many lines it's about 127 lines and then in the activity recognition it's about it's a huge one guys it's a huge library file my god 2253 lines jesus christ it's huge right so things are easy as far as we get the example code and we we just have to you know modify and play around with that so guys remember to modify this line number after line number 15 you need to put this in line number 16 hash define space int underscore one all right the code is uploaded great if you see the screen that means it's can you see at the bottom done uploading fantastic now the moment of truth go to the serial monitor click on the serial monitor on the right and then change the baud rate if you see the baud rate by default you will get it as 9600 right you will see 9600 or or 19200 we need to select that to 115200 baud okay now let's give it a minute it has to detect something <coughs> Now my Arduino, my board is in a stationary mode. It should detect stationary, but it's not detecting anything, which is worrying. I don't see any error. Let me just shake it up a bit and see if anything is happening. There you go, activity walking. So it takes about a couple of seconds guys because the processor of course and activity stationary because I am not shaking right. Let me just uh, move on to uh, I'll show you another screen maybe you can see in that. So <clears throat> let me move my com port this side. Okay let me now now my Arduino Nano RP2040 connect is on a stationary mode so the activity it says stationary let me just shake a bit like jogging it should detect jogging let me keep moving like this there you go jogging can you see that walking because i slowed down the speed let me do it slowly it takes couple of seconds <coughs> I have a pretty bad throat guys you have to excuse me for that let me shake it fast let me do the jogging there you go jogging now let me just leave it as it is on the floor it should say stationary come on stationary there you go let me move slowly walking there you go if I move fast if I shake it fast Come on activity show jogging jogging there you go now let me leave it down walking let me leave it down it's stationary fantastic so guys can can you can you see you know what a level of magic is happening right so it's 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 kind of you can see ton loads of stuffs happening in front of you this is the way you, you can collect this data now you can collect this data and retrain it it what requires the most important thing is you got to modify this code you can store this data capture this data anywhere you want and you know you can do ton loads of exercise so if you want to learn further guys let me close this terminal you can go back to let me just show you go back to the examples and then go down to incompatible and then go to stm duino nucleo and then there are ton loads of examples here starting from hello world to wake up detection let's check at wake up detection you can play around with this code 
you know of course you will have to do some modification here hash divine define int underscore one you can put it if it is not detected and you can run this code to detect the wake up and enable this can be thrown into the web browser through your web server as well which i showed you in the previous lesson how to do it so guys machine learning in arduino is very very simple right so you saw a couple of examples now so these are real time examples now it's up to you how you are going to play around with the system and make some interesting projects i can only show you to certain level in using the example code and how to modify it make it compatible how to access it how to play around i will also show you some more examples in the upcoming lessons we will try to build some interesting projects see you soon goodbye